Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Getting Ready to Bloom, the Future of Art and Education. My name is Suzette Bross, Founder and Executive Director of CPS Lives. CPS Lives is a 501c3 that is a residency that gets Chicago artists into the Chicago public schools. I founded the organization almost four years ago to shine a light on public school education today. Artists are the best storytellers and telling the unknown stories of public school is vitally important. How has the pandemic affected you as artists, educators, and community leaders? What we did was switched over to now, how do we support the community and families? So we became a food site. So every day we gave, uh, we fed about 200 families, um, different meals and so forth. So coming in and taking pictures uh, just added another life uh, for us because then we were able to share those pictures with students. And you had some students saying, oh, wow, I remember this, or uh, I can't wait to get back. But it also gave them a, the story of hope. Um, the story of hope is that this won't last always, which uh, was so important to me. Um, so coming and taking those pictures and um, I love the fact of saying them being able to see outside. Those are things that in some cases they took for granted. We all took for granted. But Marzan coming in, taking those pictures just added a new life and a new layer to everything that we were going through to bring art in another facet. Um, that students didn't necessarily think about that while things were going chaotic. Remember this pleasant piece. Remember, look out the window. It just sent so many messages um, to our students to help them to even uh, just remember the small things. I think sometimes we get caught up and we forget about the art. Look out the window. Look at the smiles. Let those smiles now come back to you again. I've been wanting to photograph in a high school to, to understand what teenagers are about, how I can connect and understand them. But like, I couldn't just go up to Mr. Anderson and, and, and do that on my own, right? We, we have to do this, the background check. Suzette is, you know, making connections and, and really doing all the behind the, the, the scenes so that I get to the school and I just make pictures and I feel supported as an artist. I don't retouch any photographs, but when I make photographs, I want to make beautiful photographs. And so I rely on gesture and, and on light uh, composition. And I think that's also really what separates art, you know, from commercial work, right? Um, we look to find the authenticity, the, the real thing within and pull it out and bring it into our work, as opposed to bringing in some uh, uh, an idea and, and imposing it onto them, right? So we, we kind of pull um, beauty and, and the, the real out of them, yeah. In addition to how it affected us to adjust to when we're going to be or how we're going to be, I think we too reflected on, um, you know, many of the issues that arose over the pandemic months and, um, and have incorporated much of, um, much of the lessons and much of what we wanted to say into what is our future programming. Um, you know, it's, it's not just talking about recognizing uh, DEI issues, it's, it's actually being active and incorporating. And I'm proud that Expo Chicago has, you know, always been um, uh, on, a, on the forefront of programming, uh, but we can do more. And when I think about the future of education and how the pandemic has affected um, our situation, I think about our students who um, are the, the, the people who are creating our communities, right? They're the ones who are like coming up the next generation. And I think it's really important for them to see themselves as cultural producers and not only people who are experiencing and, and consuming culture. When I think about photography and what photography can do for us, I think about how it can be used as an artistic expression, or like recently a tool to find water on Mars. And if we find water, we find life. Right? But it can also be used to document our personal lives. And from what we have seen in, in the news recently, um, phone cameras have, can change the world in, in a positive way. So 
when I think about photography, I think about that it, it can be used as, as a tool for education, whether it's like art or sciences. Um, I think it's, it's really important.